I want to break free video features members of Queen appearing in a suburban house dressed as women. A parody of characters from Coronation Street, a British soap opera. The video was directed by David Mallet and it was shot on 22nd March and 4th of May 1984 at Limehouse Studios in London. Unfortunately, Limehouse Studios was demolished in 1989. The composition of the video was choreographed by Wayne Eagling, who was the leader of Royal Ballet as well as Freddie's friend, and Royal Ballet was also involved in the video. Freddie shaved his moustache in reference to Václav Nizhinsky, a Russian ballet dancer who was the inspiration for the central section of the video. But how this idea even came to the world? The biggest misconception still remains that it was actually Freddy's idea. But was it? The funny thing is, is it's like, uh, I must tell you, everybody thinks it probably was my idea because they think mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, but it's not, it, it wasn't at all. I mean, something like that was the back of my mind. But if I'd approached the rest of the group, it would have been disbanded because it, 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 it would have looked like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to dress them up in drag and, and all that. And because everybody thinks that that's what I'm tuned to or whatever. But I like, so the funny thing is you, the others came up with the idea and I, I said, fine, I'll do it. Mm. And, and so it came to fruition, but I was shocked actually to think, my God, that they're expecting to actually dress up in drag. And I said, fine. Then I, 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 I took the bull by the horns and I just said, right, now we do it. <laughs> now we do it properly. And for the first time in our lives that we've actually taken the mickey out of ourselves. Mm. MTV's narrow-minded response to drag in I Want to Break Free video resulted in banning the music video in the US. Brian May said that this incident diminished the band's success in the US throughout the 80s. In terms of America, it wasn't accepted at all because I mean they, they still regard us as, as, as the heavy rockers and the macho and all that. And they said, well, what are my idols doing dressing up in frogs? <laughs> This moment of controversy was also pictured in the film Bohemian Rhapsody, where members of the band argue with each other about I Want to Break Free video. We help give birth to MTV. It's America. They're Puritans in public, perverts in private. I'm never touring in the US again. <laughs> and I'm the one being blamed for it. Not you, dear, whose idea I believe it was to dress up in drag. And not you, not even you, who wrote the bloody thing. No. That scene specifically clarifies as well that it was not Freddy's idea. Though receiving four Academy Awards for this film proves that US loves Queen and always will. There's a big risk <coughs> element involved with everything. I mean, since Bohemian Rhapsody, so we're not going to change. And I think our sort of staunchest fans are going to know that we, we can come with all kinds of ridiculous things and some of them will work, some won't. Mm. And I think, uh, you know, in, in terms of that, I mean, especially now, the rest of the group actually sort of will sort of take my view on this is, and that we don't give a damn what, what we do what we want to do and, and, it's, and it's either accepted or not. I Want to Break Free video remains the most iconic Queen video ever having hundreds of people, if not thousands, dressed up like Freddy on Halloween or parties all around the world. And the thing is, everybody knows from which video that is. I think that's one of our best videos to date, really. In fact, it still makes me chuckle every time I see it. And, and um, I've seen it a lot of times and I'm glad we did it. <laughs>